Okay. Um, this is the team I'm using. So what's interesting is I can't set up trick room easily. Okay. Can they? I guess they can. This might actually be kind of bad for us. I don't know. I feel like I should go into the torque wall. Perhaps I should have just went for Pyro Ball. So their Venusaur is like just super max speed.
that a crit? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Scope blind Storkle. They have Zard in the back, we're just kind of wrecked. Interesting. Oh yeah, this is smart from them. Team can't really handle sleep powder. It's kind of on me for like going citrus instead of safety goggles on Togekiss. So like I can't be surprised Pikachu face about it. Like that's just a choice I made and that's what I'm living with right now. I expect an entire Randazor search, huh? Do you have Clefairy? Clefairy would be really bad. Charizard. Uh, this is. We just lose, right? Yeah, we just lose. Um, hmm. Okay, Let's see. How do we beat Sleep Powder? Because we don't have safety goggles on Togekiss, because we haven't played against an actual Sleep Powder user in forever. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Did it did Targa up here? Yep. Uh... Wait, this is so bad, actually. single game yet. <sighs> and 
Yeah, I guess this team really just, I mean, like, at the end of the day, if you need safety goggles, you need safety goggles, you know? I tried this. Yeah, Rillaboom is so sketchy in this side matchup as well. Cinderace or Primarina? Primarina. I already have decent enough checks for Venusaur, so I actually don't need Cinderace. Like if I get Venusaur, Primarina is actually. If I yeah, if Venusaur's KO, Primarina is. Pretty free to do whatever it needs to. Yep. A little better. Uh, this might like make noise or something when I plug it into my computer. Did that torque hold you? I like legit didn't even look. Stalled on that, stalling out some sleep turns. Oh wow, oh, yeah, one turn, wake up. So that is another turn thing with sleep. Like, like if you do it on aggregate, I think it's only like about a 50% chance that they both hit a sleep powder and you and it's like for it to both hit a sleep powder and for you to have a higher than um how do I put it you hit a sleep powder and they sleep for more than one turn is only about half the time you know so like this is not a, that surprising of a result um so I'm fine yawning here yeah, yawning at the Charizard is really nice. Yes. Pretty good snarl. It's like actually a really good snarl. It shouldn't KO. Yeah, yeah not, not that close even. Oh. Okay. Uh after this tournament, all right, this is actually what's the issue. I need Citrus Berry on Arcanine. Are they gonna protect their thing? Fine.
Yeah, so I need Citrus Berry on Arcanine because I keep not being able to use its berry. Citrus Berry is just really good, but yeah, I think Safety Goggles plus Citrus on Arcanine would just do me a lot better, but I can't change it for the tournament, so I have to both hope to win this and then... And then uh, hope to dodge the matchup. Okay, that's fine. It didn't do too much damage. I'm assuming the Max Geyser KOs. Charizard is not that bulky. That crit shouldn't have mattered. But it might have. I mean, I guess I could check. It's not even gonna trigger, okay. Barely triggered the berry. Yeah. Hilariously enough, I do have all my calcs up, which I did not have for the player's cup, which is like, so stupid. I was like manually typing in my stuff for calcs. Just like, what are you doing? Uh, it's sun. Oh wow, that crit definitely mattered. Yeah, only do about half. Yeah, that 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 crit mattered. That's uh, it's just facts right there. Okay. If we hit this will o -Wisp, we're fine. If we don't, we're fine. Okay, we just kind of win this game. Yep, yep, yep. Good to know you have protect. Maybe we don't need safety goggles to Ukis and I just have to learn how to play around sleep. It's like I still don't really know how to do that. Shouldn't show helping hand yet. I don't want to lead the same because like I'm confident against their trick room mode because of my pre-marina This isn't like the best against their uh, like Clefairy NDD lead, but I think it's good enough. Cause I could yawn their Clefairy. Or air slash it. Yeah, I just don't know how to I want to target because like I don't know. 
Gotta go use the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I really need to learn how to play your sleep powder. I just can't commit my max into it like a dingus, you know what I mean? God. Um, alright. You're intimidated. Can't will us. I don't want Pre Marina to just take his for no reason. I guess Urshifu's not a terrible switcher. Then we could yawn Titar. They'll probably follow me, then we double protect the yawn. We might not even, honestly. We might protect Urshifu and then uh, swap in Arcanine. Okay. Wow, wow. Oh, that's memes. Actually, I don't just hate iron heading here and then yawning their T tower. We could also alternatively bring in Arcanine. Don't hate bringing Arcanine in either. I really like yawning this slot though, because I feel they might want to take it out because it's, it's intimidated and has a bad matchup at the moment. Okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Alright, smart. Key bear is pretty annoying. I can just kind of close combat this though. Do you like just I like this? Seems like a pretty strong play. Uh, they could go into Venusaur. Or Charizard, honestly. Oh, they don't. Alright. Cheetar is not a factor anymore. Venusaur. Venusaur might be their max mon. We're gonna do it like this. Okay, that's that's what I expected. They have Clefairy, so I think we're gonna max Arcanine this game. And KO the Venusaur. And then we should just be fine. 
So we could have followed me because our Togekiss does tank a Max Ooze. Okay, they go for the Max Ooze anyway. We should survive it. Oh, their Venusaur might just get KO'd, honestly. Okay. Alright. I... How much does this do? Oh wow, this does so much more damage when I have attack EVs. So I was playing with my Dark Urshifu with just like no attack EVs. Okay, Eruption's not doing too much, to be honest. Mm, does enough. Um, let's see. No, they could earth power me. Okay, yeah, we're definitely maxing Arcanine because it could live at earth power here. Um, so this plays around max guard really well. So if they go for the Togekiss, we get their Venusaur and we win the game because we have Primarina in the back and they only have Clefairy. And if we... If they don't max guard, they KO Togekiss. They should not KO our Arcanine. We have Dynamax candies, I was kind of worried about that. Uh, so, yeah, and then, or they could like ooze or whatever, and yeah, just nothing really matters. Is this nice? Yeah, we're maxing this puppy. This Torkoal is kind of scary, but it's not going to do enough damage, so I'm not concerned. Not to mention, we'll flinch it 60% of the time. Okay, cool. Might be able to two hit KO this Clefairy. Okay, no, we win. Nice. Alright, GG's to Roy. GG's, uh. Not much to say except I need to stop being stupid against Sleep Powder. I just like play badly versus it, and I adjusted that my lead was. Like, I could take sleeps and it was fine with my Togekiss Arcanine. Um, cause that is kind of the, the issue with like relying on Venusaur Sleep Powder, cause I led two supports and Venusaur was still threatened to just get KO'd by Flare Blitz and take a lot of damage from my Air Slash. So, even though you're Sleep Powdering me, I'm not really committing my win conditions. Right? Uh,. So, yeah, I mean, they, they could get games two and three. They could have slept as many Pokemon as they want, but it's like, because I, I don't know, slapped some sense into myself. <laughs> I, I didn't Dynamax and Cinderace into that situation and just like, yep, yeah, you can take my supports. Um, who cares? Like, Torkoal Eruption is kind of cool, I guess. But that's round two.